Hi everyone, this is Ambroise from Motoplaisir Motorcycle Rental in Geneva. In this video, I'm going to give you some information to help you choose between the R1250 RT and the R1250 GS for your next trip. So here we have the 2021 R1250 RT and the 2021 R1250 GS. Obviously, these bikes look very differently, but when it comes to, to go on a trip, as long as you don't go off-road, we have a lot of customers hesitating between these two. They do not look the same, but in fact, they are both very similar. The engine is the exact same. The suspension is very similar. We have the telelever system on both bikes. This makes the bike uh, very stable when you brake, it does not dive. This is pretty unique on the market. So this is a great feature for the stability of the bike. Both bikes handle very similarly. They are very nimble. The 1250RT is about 30 kilos uh, heavier, but there are a few things that make the 1250RT very close to the GS when it comes to um, agility and so on. First thing to notice is that the front wheel on the 1250RT is 17 inches compared to 19 inches on the GS. Another little detail is the fork angle, uh, which is um, slightly smaller on the RT and most importantly the wheelbase is about three centimeters shorter on the RT compared to the to the GS so these features help to compensate the extra weight of the RT so if the RT looks a little bit like uh, an elderly biker's bike um, it's a very uh, dynamic in its class. The RT is uh, 30 kilos more, but um, it does not lean as much as the GS on the side stand. So it's a bit easier to put, to put it upright. The, um, the seat height is a bit lower too, so that helps, of course. The center of gravity will be a bit lower and uh, it will be easier to put it upright. So it does not feel that heavy. Um, of course, if you have to, to go uphill backwards, you will feel a little bit of a difference. You feel the difference a little bit um, when, you, when you ride. But overall, it's a very agile and very nimble bike. In terms of comfort, the 1250RT is superior to the, to the GS, especially for the passenger. Two reasons for that. First reason is the, the length of the seat is three to four centimeters uh, longer than the one on the GS. So depending on the size of the passenger, this can help, of course. And what we can notice as well is the, the backrest on the, on the top case of the GS, uh, as the top case is very uh, square. Um, it will um, greatly influence the, the riding position of the, of the passenger, which will not be uh, very relaxed, and, but uh, quite uh, up straight. We can see that the, the top case of the RT will enable a much more relaxed position, a bit leaning backwards. So that helps a lot, especially on long distances. The, the passenger will be able to, to lean backwards and, and be a bit more relaxed. The width of the, the seat, well, nothing much to say about that. This is uh, not very important for the comfort. The GS is still um, one of the most comfortable bikes on the market, but the RT is 
even better. You can put two helmets in the, in the top case of the RT. The overall volume of the cases will be about the same. The side cases are maybe a bit smaller on the RT. Um, but what is important to notice is that you will not be able to put two helmets in the BMW top case. For those of you who have uh, wondered why BMW does not offer bigger top cases uh, or uh, top cases where you can put two helmets, this is because the, the rear frame is much beefier on the, on the RT. So this one is the one on the GS. You have rounded tube uh, frame and on the RT, you have bigger tubes that are not, not rounded. So this is to accommodate the extra weight and length we have on the, on the RT. What, uh, according to our experience, what we can notice on the GS, when it's fully loaded, when all the cases are loaded and with the passenger, you, cl you can clearly see the torsion of the, of the rear frame. So uh, this, is, uh, this does, does not influence the comfort of the passenger, but more the, the ride. Um, when you, you go through multiple curves and if the, the tarmac is not perfect, this will um, disturb the, the handling of the bike. On the RT, it will uh, remain um, much more uh, rigorous. On the RT, the rear frame will uh, remain uh, much more uh, stable and will help the, the stability of the bike. Another detail that helps the comfort of the 1250 RT is the, the final uh, gear ratio. Uh, that is slightly longer on the RT than on the GS. This does not help acceleration, but uh, the ride will be a bit smoother. The engine will run at lower RPMs, slightly lower, and uh, the gear changes will be a bit smoother as well. So this helps a little bit the comfort, especially when you have a, a passenger. If you are a technology enthusiast, the new RT, of course, offers a lot of uh, new features that recently arrived on the market, such as the adaptive cruise control. Well, this is nice to have. On the small winding roads we have here, this is uh, more or less useless. Of course, the connectivity with the BMW app uh, is much better on the new RT. You can put your phone here. It will be then charged all the time. Of course, you have the radio on the RT. I let you decide if it is useful on the bike or not. The most interesting feature is maybe the central locking on the RT. Um, this is uh, very convenient and you can open and close all the cases, um, pressing a, a button. So that's a great feature the GS does not have and will probably never have. So in terms of connectivity with your smartphone, the RT is much better. Even if soon BMW will release a BMW Motorrad connected cradle that will enable you to put uh, your phone in the same location as the, the BMW GPS on the 1250GS. So this will help um, the connectivity. A few more details. The fuel tank on the RT is 25 liters compared to the one on the GS, on the standard GS, that is about 20 liters. So of course, it's always good to have a, a better range. You will easily ride 400 kilometers on the tank with the RT. It will be closer to 300 with the GS. The riding position on both bikes are pretty similar um, from your, your legs point of view. 
On the GS, the big difference is the handlebar that is very wide. When you turn the wheelbar completely, the, um, the handle can be very far if you are a bit small. On the RT, it's a bit, it's a bit more natural, a less wide handlebar. Your hands will be a bit lower, so I would say it's a bit more natural. One last thing is the, the protection against uh, the wind and rain. The 1250 RT is probably one of the best on the market in terms of protection. So when you ride uh, in cold temperatures, under the rain of course, it's, uh, it's great. But when it gets hot, it's a bit uh, inconvenient because you don't have a lot of hair um, to cool you down. You can put down the windshield, but you will only have hair around, the, around your face, around your helmet. Uh, so if it's really hot, the GS that protects a little less is a bit, uh, is a bit better. On the RT, there is no um, uh, deflectors like on the K16 GT. To, to guide the air to, to you. Okay, so that's all I had to say about these two bikes to help you choose between uh, each of them. If you, if you think I have forgotten something, please comment below. I will be happy to, to answer your questions if you have any. Thanks again for your attention and see you in the next one.